This is what you're going to be using for your ground station. This here is the Wi-Fi antenna that is going to link to the craft. This is a 5 gigahertz MIMO Wi-Fi antenna with a 16 dBi uh, antenna in there. So this right here is going to be our power over ethernet supply that's going to supply the Wi-Fi radio with its power and also this box here is a Wi-Fi router that's on the 2 gigahertz spectrum and that's going to be what your uh, laptop and also iPhone, Android, tablets are all going to connect to Wi-Fi right there. So that is the thing you're going to be going to. All these radios here, they just have a have Ethernet connections in the bottom of it. So you can just use standard Ethernet cables. I like to use the ones that have the shielding on them, that little extra copper wire, because uh, you don't want any kind of electrostatic discharge to damage your Wi-Fi radio, especially during a flight. This is antenna tracker ready, so it's slim, it's easy to mount to your antenna tracker. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys can figure out something great in order to, to get that going. I mean, it, it works good without an antenna tracker. You're still going to be able to get really good range out of it. Uh, it's all just a matter of selecting the proper frequency for your flying conditions. So. This whole entire system here can be powered off of either an AC plug, a 3S LiPo, or all the way up to 24 volts of power. And if you're doing that, I mean, that's going to give you maximum portability. I, I just use an uh, AC inverter in my car, so I can just use it just like this wherever I go to fly at. Uh, but, I mean, if your situation requires a battery, this system is going to be able to handle a battery as well. Uh, we have the... Pixhawk unit here, and then this right here is coming off the Telem 1 port. It's a DF13 to FTDI cable, and that's plugged in to the Ethernet to serial adapter, and that leads down into a three port switch. The, th the three port switch has the IP camera, the Wi Fi radio, and then also the serial to Ethernet connector on it. And all of this is powered off of a 3S 1000 milliamp LiPo through this JST XH leader right here. And with this setup, you're going to have complete flexibility on what components you choose to hook up onto your craft. For instance, you can change out this IP camera for, for whichever one you feel that suits your needs the best. This one here I like because it's really lightweight. It has a dedicated SD card slot for onboard video recording as well as through your software DVR on your ground station. And in addition to that, it also has great low light capabilities and it's lightweight. So that kind of gives you a nice overview of this ground station here. Also another thing is here on the Wi-Fi radio, you can also change this out for whatever frequency will suit your flying the best. You need to choose something that is not going to interfere with your current RC transmitter. So for instance, if you're running a Spectrum DX6 or any kind of Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz, you're not going to want to choose a 2 gigahertz radio for this because they will interfere and you will crash. You need to go with something else like a 5 gigahertz or a 900 megahertz in order to keep everything on different channels. So this is a nice overview here of the everything that's going to go on your craft. So now we're here, we're just going to hook up the ground station exactly how I would if I was out at the flying field. Just simply, everything's ready to go, you just plug it in. Make sure we get some lights going, okay? This is indicating that the PoE is powered on. This light's indicating that the Wi-Fi router is powered on. This light is indicating that the Wi-Fi radio is powered on. This light here is indicating that we do in fact have a LAN connection back to here. And these are going to be our signal lights after it connects up with the craft. So let's go. Okay, so I'm here back with all the equipment that goes on the aircraft. And what we have going on here is we got our batteries plugged in to the Pixhawk. We got our 3S plugged in right here into the video equipment and the IP equipment and uh, everything is connected up you can see we got signal LEDs right here in indicating we got uh, full bars of signal the other antennas laying right over there uh, it's, everything's all connected up here I'm looking at the video stream pulled up through this IP address right here and that's actually going to be the IP camera stream and you can view this IP camera stream in like VLC or any other 
uh, stream viewer. It's just it, it's capable with like RSTP and or RTSP, excuse me. As far as the streaming capabilities, and you can select your bit rate, you can select your frames a second, you can select your refresh frequency, and you even can select your volume all right here so this is where you manage all the settings on your camera so now we'll go ahead and hop on over and I'll show you how we can get this thing to hook up in Mission Planner all right okay so now we got our Windows computer ready to go and uh, we do have to use a virtual COM port on here so that way it will listen to that serial Ethernet converter and can you change it into something that APM can use easily. Put up APM Planner. Okay, so here we are with everything plugged in and working. Uh, we got APM up here on the Windows laptop that's plugged into the TV. And this is actually connected Wi-Fi to our ground station setup over there and then that in turn connects wirelessly to this the Pixhawk unit and everything else that we added on and then that this laptop here is also streaming from that same Wi-Fi connection that the Windows computers on up there so we'll be able to see a really good representation here of everything working together okay so I'm gonna keep everything in the frame and move the Pixhawk around and you can see how quickly everything updates it's very fast with no lag I mean, this, this system is fantastic. Fantastic.